Lab 61 is asking about CORE's pre-flight request. Specifically, it wants to know what's the HTTP method of the pre-flight request. Using the CORE's page, we'll select the put method, which requires pre-flight, and we'll put in a message, and then we'll echo that message. And this works. Let's use Burp Suite to find out what requests and responses were sent. Since we're proxying these requests through Burp, we'll already have a record of it in the HTTP history. We scroll down to the last two requests. The first one is an options request asking permission to use the put method. We can see that request here on line seven. The server sends back an access control allow origin header specifying our domain and gives permission to use the put request on line 10. The next request is the actual put request. We see the put method on line one and the message is echoed back from the server in the response on line 17. Based on that, we go back to the question, and the answer to what HTTP method is used for the pre request is the options 